Hi, I'm Sean Lyle, Senior Solutions Architect for AWS Elemental, specializing in media services. In this video, we're going to focus on the Elemental Link device. The Elemental Link is a simple device to take your SDI or HDMI video workflow and contribute it to the cloud with ease. In this video, we're going to cover everything from creating a console account to ordering our Link device, and then once we receive our Link device, we'll do an unboxing and get that device contributing to the AWS cloud. So let's go ahead and get started with creating our AWS console account. You want to open a web browser and direct yourself to aws.amazon.com. In the upper right-hand corner, click Create an AWS Account. Enter your email address. You'll want to create a password that meets the password criteria. And then you might want to create an alias for your account uh, just to make it easy to uh, get to so you don't have to remember the string of numbers that is your AWS account. I'm going to go ahead and continue. It's asking me my full name. We'll create account and continue. And then you will enter your credit card information. And then we can verify and add that credit card that's going to be used for anything that you would need to be billed for. And then you'll need to enter your cell phone number, or you could do a voice call if you prefer, and enter the verification code that is sent to your text messages. And now we've verified our identity. So now we can continue. We're just going to do a basic plan. And then my role on this Now that we've finished all of our sign-in information, we're going to go ahead and actually log in to the console. We will enter the password that we chose earlier. So we're now logged into our console. We want to make sure that we are in the right region, and US West Oregon is where I operate out of because I'm on the West Coast. Uh, we're going to go down to Services, where you can see all the services that are at your disposal. We're going to click Media Live because that's what we're interested in uh, for this Elemental Link demo. I'm going to come over here and click into this area where it says Devices. And then in Devices, I'm going to go ahead and purchase a device. That's going to take me to the Elemental Link order form. So we're going to go ahead and start our order. We are going to enter our contact name, our email address, We need to name this order, so we'll call this Sean's Link Demo. We're going to order one of these for mine. We're going to select the region. Since I'm West Coast, it's going to be Oregon. And then we need to add an address for delivery. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick here. And then AWS is going to require you to validate that address. Now we're going to enter our contact phone number just in case there's any issue with delivery. If you had any specific uh, shipping request. And um, as you probably already know, this is a $995 device. We're going to go ahead and hit order. We need to select a payment option. You could do prepayment. Um, you can also do an invoice. Um, I'm going to do an invoice. Um, so I'm going to choose a file. And in that file, I'll have my demo PO that I'll send forward. Uh, now we can go ahead and click Next. It's just going to do a verification of all of your details. And we're going to go ahead and submit that. 
And now we're going to wait to receive our elemental link. Well, it's been a few days, and I believe our elemental link device has arrived. So let's go ahead and get to the unboxing. The Elemental Link comes with a Ethernet, SDI, HDMI, and a power port. It also has all the necessary information just in case you need to manually configure. So I think we're ready to plug it in. Let's see. I've got a nice camera here focused on the outdoors just as our test shot. And We'll go ahead and take the HDMI from that and plug it in. We'll go ahead and take the network cable and plug it in. And then we'll go ahead and take the power cable and plug it in with a twist. Based on the LEDs, it looks like we're already communicating into AWS Cloud, but we haven't even logged into the console yet. So let's go ahead and log into the console and see what we can do there. So we're back at the AWS console and we're going to use our credentials that we created before. And let's go ahead and see what we find. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go to services. We want to go to media live. And then once we get into Media Live, we want to go up here, click this area, and you'll look in Devices. And there you have it. That's the video that I'm contributing from my camera into the Link device. We can click up here to see more details of that device and what its contribution rate is and what its size is and what its frame rate is, things like that. Um, we could also edit those settings if we wanted to. Like, do we want it to automatically select the input source, or do we know for sure this is going to be HDMI? What do we want the maximum bitrate to be for this contribution? And if we made any changes, we could just click Update. So let's go ahead and turn this device into an input. So we're going to click on Inputs, then we're going to create an input, then we're going to name that input. We'll name this one Elemental Link 01. And we'll select Elemental Link from here. We would select our input device. If you had multiple, you'd have more in that drop down. And then you can go ahead and hit Create. So now we have an input available for our channel. So let's go ahead and go into Channels. We're going to Create Channel. We're going to name this one Elemental Link Test 01. We are going to create a role from a template. This is a really nice way to handle your IAM account if you don't want to go into IAM and create your roles manually. Uh, Media Live will actually do that for you. So I'm going to create that IAM role. And now we get a Media Live access role. We're going to remember that role. So moving forward in the future, we will always have our IAM taken care of for Media Live. In this case, to keep time down, we're going to use a template. We're going to do a live event. So we're going to take this Elemental Link contribution and we're going to push it to Media Live. Media Live is then going to transcode that media and send it off to Media Package to be packaged up and your origin server. So we'll go ahead and create that template. This is warning us that if we had created some output groups and things like that, that we would lose them. So we'll go ahead and click Confirm. And as you can see, we still have Elemental Link Test, our access role, because we hadn't gone too far. But if we had anything in the inputs or outputs, we would have lost those in that. So we also, on the channel class, want to change this from standard to single pipeline. Standard and single is the difference between a single pipeline and a redundant pipeline, or a dual pipeline. Uh, we know that the elemental link is HEVC, uh, that it's HD, and that it's under 20 megabits because we have it set at 9 megabits as we saw earlier. So now that we've got our uh, channel and input details set up, we're going to actually attach an input. And that's where we go here, click Add. 
We're going to choose an input, which will be the elemental link device. We're going to confirm that input. And now we've got our input attached. So we've got output groups as well. And this is where we do need to create a media package channel to run this live channel to. Because in this, it's asking about the media package channel, and we actually haven't created that yet. So let's jump out of here for just one second. One of the things I like to do when I'm in the console is you can click services, and you can go to media package, but don't left click it or you'll lose all your settings in media live. You wanna right click it and open it in a new tab. So we're going to create a channel, and we gotta give that channel an ID. So we'll call this one Elemental Link 01. We could give it a description if we wanted to, and then the input type on this is always gonna be HLS. That's the only supported option. And we do wanna go ahead and create a CloudFront distribution for this channel, because we're gonna take this from Elemental Link into Media Live, through Media Package as our origin, and out CloudFront, so that we get a full distribution of this video signal. So let's go ahead and click Create. And now we have our ID. We can just copy this ID. We can move back to Media Live, and we can add this ID back to Media Live. So now we're going to be contributing all of this information into this media package to actually run out to the world. So there is our channel. It's creating. As this is creating, which only takes a few moments, we'll go back to Media Package, where you can see this is our contribution point, but we don't have any endpoints set up. So we need to click Add Endpoints. We can create an ID for this, and I'm going to create this one as HLS uh, Link 01. Um, we can start to make some choices, like what do we want to package as? I called it HLS, so obviously I'm going to do HLS, but you could do CMath or Smooth or Dash. Um, you can select your segment durations in this area as well as whether or not you want to encrypt the content. We're gonna keep this workflow pretty simple. Uh, you can also change the bitrate order. Uh, maybe you want it to start at the lowest bitrate to make sure that your customers don't have any pauses in their workflow. Maybe you wanna make sure it starts at the highest bitrate uh, order because you, you've got a company logo that comes up as the first thing and that's important. So we're gonna go ahead and save this contribution point. And I made a simple mistake, no spaces in our endpoints. So now we have an endpoint created here, and we even have a play option. But we're not going to click that yet because our Media Live channel has been created, but it's not running. So if we clicked play, we wouldn't actually see anything yet. So let's go ahead and start our Media Live channel. Starting the channel takes a few moments. While we're waiting those few moments, let's drop down to services, and then we're going to go to CloudFront and see how that's going. So we created a CloudFront address using Media Package. Let's make absolutely sure, yep, there it is. CloudFront does take about 15 minutes to spin up, so it is worth mentioning that this is gonna be in progress for a little bit of time. But let's go back to that Media Live channel now. And we're gonna wait for this to start. As soon as this starts, we'll take a look at Media Package or our HLS origin. Okay, so the channel is now running. Uh, if we wanted to monitor this channel, we can take a look at data, and in a few minutes, it'll start populating whether or not it's receiving network inputs, whether or not it's contributing network outputs, um, how many input video frame rate, whether or not it's dropping frames. This is a really good panel to give you an idea of the system's health. The other panel here is alerts. If you had any alerts, like it wasn't receiving the inputs, or there was any problems with this channel, you would likely see them here as well. So now that this channel is running, and oh, looks like we've got our first health alerts letting us know that we're receiving about 4.5 megabits in. That's probably because I'm on a lockdown shot and it's not very complex for the encoder to take care of. And we are also contributing out our first package. So let's go ahead and go to media package and take a look at our endpoint, which is our HLS link 01. We're gonna play that just to see if we have video. And sure enough, our video is there. So this is a great indicator that we've made it from the elemental link on-prem 
into the cloud through Media Live and over to Media Package. So the last link in our chain is CloudFront. And we could go to CloudFront, or if you notice right over here, it shows you a CloudFront URL. So we can actually click that CloudFront URL and it'll switch over here. Now, CloudFront does take 15 minutes to set up, as I mentioned before. So let's just go ahead and check in on CloudFront. We're gonna open it again in a new tab. And what we will see here is the CloudFront distribution and we can see that it's deployed. So we should be good to go. We can come back here to Media Package and just use this CloudFront URL to play. And now we're playing off of the CDN. So that's one way to do it. The other way you could put it into a player. You could copy this M3U8 address and paste it into uh, your browser if your browser supports HLS. And you can see that video coming straight off the CDN into your browser. Well, there you have it. The Elemental Link connected to the AWS console and streaming video out to the world. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this demo.